Chris, how you doing, man? Good, buddy. Good, good. How's that? Is? Oh, not much. So you got a minute for a, for a handful of quick questions? Yeah, let's do it real quick, man. All right. Um, I, one of the things that I'd asked Maria is, it's been a huge year for In This Moment. What moments stand out the most for you? For 2009? Yeah. Um, I think that, you know, our world tour is a, a tour like we'll never forget. You know, it's a really long, big, crazy tour, something we've never done. So that's a big moment. And uh, the headlining tour is another, another big one just because it's something, you know, Cool to do. Right. You need a headline in places where you're, you know, instead of opening up, which is all we've done since we started this band, you know. Pretty cool to headline. Absolutely. Now, your your first CD was more metal core. The new CD is almost a throwback to 80s metal. Um, how do you see uh, the third shaking out? Is it going to be more of a middle ground between the two? I think that's a pretty safe, safe way to describe it. You know, uh, and it's always, a, for me and Maria, it's always a, a battle of melody and, and, and metal. Right. And, you know, but I, I think she is definitely more on board, and, and all of us are, are wanting a heavier album this time. Right. You know, a more definitive album. I think, you know, the dream is in this moment, too. Mm -hmm. It's a really beautiful tragedy, but, you know, really finding out what our true sound is for on the third record. Which yeah. I think is a combination of both of those things. Dimebag, his tragic death, passed earlier this month. You know, how how much of an impact on you as a guitarist and a musician did, did Dime have? Oh, it's, it's huge, man, it's huge. And it's just, cause I was into Dime before Terror became really well-known, you know, with Cowboys. I was into power metal and, and right. earlier stuff, too. I, I thought his playing was phenomenal back then. And I was following him really closely. So uh, he's been a huge influence. And I kind of, you know, I was always into the Metallica and the Megadeth Testament and stuff like that, Slayer, right. you know, along with a lot of the metal stuff, but once Pantera kind of went that heavy, it kind of, it kind of even, as it did with a million other people, it kind of influenced me to, to go for that heavier sound, you know. Right. So, huge influence on me, you know, to this day, one of the, I'm playing his amps, man, you know, because I love <laughs> Yeah, you know, well, Maria said before the show every night, you guys are always jamming out the Pantera and stuff. Oh, like, but if somebody were to do a Ronnie James Dio tribute, what what song do you think in this moment would do? Well, I would be pushing for either the last in line or stand up and shout. Well, we know it'll probably end up being last in line then, because that's what Maria picked. <laughs> and you two are the ones that are the ones that would butt heads on it. So, <laughs> um, yeah, we agree on something to make it happen. When, when this year can we look for the new album? Uh, did you guys go in the studio in what, February? We're looking at like a mid-February to record it. Um, hopefully it'll be done by the end of March or you know, early April, and it'll be out in the summertime. Gotcha. So hopefully uh, in time for July, mid-July, I think, or late June. Gotcha. And... Um, I, this is a question I was talking to Dave from Machine Head the other day. Why, why do you think it is that that metal and, and hard rock in general is so much bigger over in Europe than it is here in Met, in America now? You know, I don't even really know if there's a good answer to that. I think over there they just kind of like music in general. Like they, they support it a little bit more. There's, there's less trend, and, and metal is just a bigger thing over there. That I, could, I think they just appreciate it more. You know, and you see that in certain places. Right. And in the U.S., you know, like in certain like markets like New Mexico, you know, there's a lot of uh, Indians there and people that don't get like shows, and they just love this hard rock, heavy metal, anything that rocks, they love, and they're they're loyal to it and they're dedicated, they just want to have a good time. And I think you know, the metal fans in, in, in America too are, are more loyal. That's something we, we really saw a lot of you know, during the work tour. Was we always had our our metal fans that were there every right. day supporting us. You know, no trend following. Bullshit, you know, and the trendy people would come and go, you know, throughout the shows of, of War Tour. And the thing about metal is it's not trendy, and, and I think the European people kind of just locked onto that, support it, you know. Right. Even old metal bands are huge over there still. Oh, yeah. You know, like, wow, this is the old school shit. So, do, do you think that we need more? I mean, because Europe has like Wacken and, and, you know, Down and all these massive festivals, Sonosphere. Do you think we need more festivals like that in the States? I, mean, I think it would be cool, and I, and I see that that they're they're doing there are more festivals than than it seems like there were in the past in the U.S. Right. You know that are coming back, you know, over and over. Um, 
like yeah, mayhem and stuff like that, but, but also just one offs like bamboozle and stuff like that. That's kind of a, a download uh, locking type thing, you know, right. where they have a ton of bands from different kind of genres. Do you have anything that you'd like to say to the Metalholic readers before we go? Uh, dude, if you like in this moment, thank you. If you bought a record, thank you. If you haven't, check it out. And uh, look for us in the summer on, on some awesome stuff. And, you know, rock on. Excellent. Well, you guys have a great final show of the tour tonight. Have a good holiday season, and uh, we'll talk to you early in the year as you get the album done. Yeah, Hit us up next time. Thanks for the interview. All right, take care.